All flights across the United States have been grounded. The pause on departures will remain until 9 a.m. Eastern time. That is, for now, a technical glitch in the Federal Aviation Administration's computer system has been blamed for the delays. However, some flights have resumed operation. The last time such a disruption took place was during 9-11. And with the country's entire airspace shutting down thousands of passengers, have been affected. Travel plans have gone haywire, and even after resumption of flights, the people affected of the delays will remain. And this is how the North American airspace looks like. The White House has said that there is no evidence of cyber attack at this point. And according to reports, as of 5.31 a.m. Eastern Time Wednesday, over 400 flights were delayed. The glitch has the potential to impact the aviation industry across the globe. Airports in the U.S. have been thrown into chaos with passengers complaining of being stuck in planes and on the tarmac for hours in different parts of the country. The Federal Aviation Administration says that it's working to restore its notice to air mission systems and are performing final validation checks as operations across the national airspace system continue to remain affected. For more on this, we are joined by Seth Miller. He's editor of Paxis Aereo, and he's an aviation journalist. He's joining us from Dover, New Hampshire. Seth, thank you so much for joining us on We On. You know, it's fascinating and terrifying at the same time to see that we are so dependent on a system like this, that everything can go haywire in such a short amount of time so fast. What do you make of all of this? Well, you know, I think the good news is that, yes, we are dependent on technology, but it mostly works most of the time. Obviously, when it goes bad uh, and we have significant outages like this, it's a terrible inconvenience and terribly challenging. Safety is the first priority. So grounding the flights until they can get it restored is you know, a smart choice, but incredibly frustrating for the tens or hundreds of thousands of passengers now who are facing significant delays or canceled flights today. They're, I mean, I heard you mention in the intro, we we're talking about hundreds. The U.S. airspace is now showing several thousand flights at least delayed uh, and hundreds of cancellations already. So not a great start for the day. That's right. And I think, you know, what's interesting is that we're just coming out of the holiday season right now. And we were just talking about the cancellations and the weather. And although, you know, that's something that's not really in the hands of the aviation industry and the airlines. And then we had uh, what was happening with Southwest. And then we have this computer glitch. I guess the question is going to really come up with how can we better really the aviation industry in the United States at this point? But you know, I think there's a lot of talk about creating a more resilient solution or more resilient national airspace system here in the United States. Uh, unfortunately, for the past probably decades at this point, it's mostly been talk and not action. And as you mentioned, there was the weather over Christmas time, but uh, the FAA had a systems outage on January 3rd, which caused a lot of issues. There's another one today, too. Uh, this one is more significant, certainly, but the one last week was also... Uh, rather unfortunate, caused a number of delays in and out of Florida, uh, including one of my flights, actually. So, you know, coming up with a more resilient solution, one that can't necessarily take everything offline, is going to be critical for the agency. And it's hard to see where that's going right now in terms of real progress. Seth, thank you so much for joining us on We On and coming and talking to us about this breaking news story. We hope to have you back soon. Thanks for having me.